For most of the last century, the inheritance of acquired characteristics was thought impossible. However, recent research is making scientists think again. One curious example concerns the capacity of wood rats from the Mojave Desert in California to feed on creosote bushes. These bushes are themselves impressive. They can survive for years without water and flourish by coating themselves with a highly toxic resin that deters almost all herbivores. Despite this, Mojave Desert wood rats feed almost exclusively on creosote, maintaining healthy bodies while consuming quantities of toxins sufficient to make an elephant sick. This allows the wood rats to exploit a novel diet largely free from competition. What makes the wood rats so fascinating is that their ability to eat this poisonous food relies completely on the detoxifying capability of the bacteria within their guts. When researchers treated the wood rats with antibiotics that wiped out that bacterial community, the wood rats dramatically lost weight and began to deteriorate on the creosote diet. Conversely, when wood rats that don't usually consume creosote and that would normally be poisoned by it were inoculated with the microbiota of Mojave wood rats, they thrived on creosote. Here, the microbiome, that's the collective noun for the bacteria, protists, fungi and viruses that live inside organisms' bodies, is passed down the generations by behavioural means. Each generation acquires the detoxifying microbes by consuming soil and feces. Mojave wood rats have apparently exploited this dietary niche for hundreds of years through the stable inheritance of bacteria acquired from their environments. The example is intriguing because it appears to defy the classical view of heredity as reliant solely on the transmission of genes. It also challenges our understanding of how evolution works. Think about it. These wood rats depend on other species' genes to exploit a novel foraging niche. The trait of feeding on a toxic food is only passed on because of resources reliably extracted from their environment. It may come as a surprise, but these rodents are actually representative of many organisms that are critically dependent on microorganisms. For instance, corals rely on microalgae for energy production, and cows couldn't eat grass without the microbial community inside their rumen. Transmission of microbial symbionts is now recognized to be a key component of animal inheritance, and that is just the tip of the iceberg. Countless resources other than genes are now known to be passed down the generations, including hormones, symbionts, epigenetic changes, antibodies, and learned knowledge. For a century, soft inheritance, the view that heredity can be changed by lifetime experiences, was regarded as disreputable. Leading evolutionary biologist Ernst Meyer, for example, asserted that the greatest contribution of the young science of genetics was to show that soft inheritance does not exist. Today, soft inheritance seems to be everywhere. The challenge is to make sense of it all. Excited to learn more? Read Evolution Evolving.